Hi, um, this is uh, the continuing show, my previous video. I am online with the Compact Logix here. I now have it in my drawer so I can use the entirety of my desk. Both the serial and the Ethernet port are connected. I'm aligned with it uh, so I can toggle the bits. This time I have uh, written a Python script that writes to my uh, my SQL uh, service here. I have a database with a form created called with two uh, columns, timestamp and event type. And here I got the Python program. Um, here I have the uh, <coughs> connection to my database on my SQL uh, database is called Compact Logix here. And uh, here I have the same on my PHP, PHP my admin um, administrator web page. Here is the uh, insertion of a cursor instruction on the database. And here I'm opening my serial port. So I'm importing serial connector to be able to open both my serial port on Python and my SQL uh, database on Python. So I can insert cursor calls, I mean cursor, cursor entries to my database forms. <clears throat> I have moved my code to a subroutine called send time. Uh, so the main program is calling it. Here I'm just going to show you what my settings are on the PLC on channel 0. I'm going to show you here channel 0. I'm going to maximize it and show you the tab where it says uh, what the serial port settings are. It's 9600 baud rate, 8 data bits, known battery, and one stop bit. That's channel 0. Um, so every time I toggle a bit, I'm sending a string of characters that says time greater than um, the current time on the CPU. And I'm open the port reading a <coughs> line because with the <coughs> and I'm adding the um, column alarm so this is like so probably like logging events from the into a database and my columns here on my SQL are timestamp and event type and I have a uh, key entry called ID that auto increments so it's pretty simple all I do is uh, opening both the database connection to my SQL and um, my serial port so I can listen to the PLC. So it will wait for a line being entered by the PLC here. And um, then I just, I want to change that because I have a, the comment says differently. Uh, this, this is just I'm recycling code from other samples that I've downloaded. So I'm mixing uh, two examples I work with uh, separately. My SQL on my serial port on Python. So it's pretty simple. Um, just to see what can I can do um, using open source material. Uh, both my SQL and Python and are both free open source huge community behind them um, calling my SQL <coughs> um, serial Python program so this is gonna wait uh, for 10 entries and then it's gonna it's gonna it's got a while uh, loop in the Python so it's gonna wait for 10 entries from the PLC into the database so I'm just going to toggle my bit here, which I have in a data watch window, 10 times toggling the bit. And the Python will show the index value, the key value of my uh, my SQL database here. So you can see on the PowerShell, um, I'm toggling 0, 0. And just uh, the value is sent over a serial port to the Python program, and the Python writes it to the database. So I'm going to open my PHP, my admin. And I'll show you what the table entries look like. So I've uh, entry 
there, uh, the entries are now 27, which matches what I have. The ID right now is the maximum is 27. That's um, last time I run it. Um, I deleted some of the entries on on PHP my admin. So it's showing the timestamp from the PLC and an alarm. So this is just a possibility that you can like have a PLC <coughs> logging to Python using pseudo ports. So if you have no HTML, you can log in the entries to MySQL database. Uh, this is just, I mean, a string of characters. You can make it more complicated. You can parse it and add like events if it's uh, a tank filling a tank or uh, recording a variable of a process or something or a, a machine is down for some alarms and alarm logging uh, the PLC and the HMI limited in size but my SQL running on a server could be large or large really large uh, database so this is, this is very convenient here because I'm just toggling this bit here and that creates a sequence of, of steps on the ladder this is the same ladder as I have on my previous video. Um, just move it to a uh, uh, subtask in the same main uh, program branch. Uh, my thinking was to move it to a uh, add-on instruction, but then I have some uh, CAC could not transfer to it, like time greater than colon and so forth that I need on my uh, string of characters to the Python so maybe not the best to use a add-on instruction so the Python is very simple um, it's just opening my SQL connection and then uh, doing a cursor uh, insertion and then closing both serial port and uh, Python connect I mean uh, SQL connection uh, and it's doing it 10 times in a row and then it stops I can just make it longer this is just a test to see that I can write uh, from Python to MySQL and both read the serial port um, from here on is just uh, uh, making it um, like distributed not in this, probably in a remote PC 